Hey, welcome back. Uh, remember, so a while ago, two weeks ago, I made a video regarding this uh, AC DC, DC DC buck converter to use it as a power supply. I eventually figured it out. What you do? I couldn't set the the current. I'm gonna switch this on now. And you can see what you must do. The load, my load was not strong enough, not good, big enough. I then eventually put a, a lamp on here, a car, uh, just like a, like a fog lamp to draw more current and, and then eventually it works. So I'm gonna show, I put my multimeter on a common on the 10 amp, 10 amp scale DC and I'm gonna switch it on. I'm gonna show you now. Now I'm gonna short out, uh, just for purpose, short out this uh, output and then turn the current and then you can see what's happening there. There's a motor and there's a lamp. See there, look here. There it works perfectly. What you do now, <coughs> you um, short the output here. You can just get it out, out of this side. Look, look, look there. I turn the pot perfectly 0 0.0, 0 0.6, 0.5 amps then you go up then you adjust your your current you've seen the blue lights coming on when you set the current this is obviously to set the correct current for your LEDs that's perfect ok now I think we can go and build it in now in my power supply but the, what I noticed I checked on the on, on YouTube but most of the of people talking about this DC to DC back converter is mostly uh, Indian people you don't can't understand the word what they say they just do things sometimes you can figure it out but you don't understand so uh, rather this is no better than English and whoever wants to know something about this, um, at least it's in English, you can understand what I say. So there's your voltage potentiometer, your current uh, potentiometer, and uh, this is just a diode uh, to um, help protect. Here's a diode, and here is your chip that does all the work, and there's just like a, a 358 for adjusting what the competitive tension meter is and then in turn adjust the chip here that does all the work, the switching um, okay uh, I'm gonna build it in now my power supply and then kind of take you through it okay I removed the potential meters and um, let's put some light in here and then I extend it with some wires so that I can put it through my enclosure and the potentiometer is in front of the uh, front face ok I removed the old power supply you can see here is the I have a little big heat sink here piece of metal here is the power supply here is the old LM317 so 380s um, for the current and the voltage and here is the front of the, the supply is all the gauges I'm gonna put this thing give a new DC buck converter over here and then uh, I'll show you now I just want to show you for interest here you'll see in the back here I have a fuse here uh, for the output so my car fuse and see that diode there I put a 6 amp diode parallel onto the output there's a good reason for it. If you, I made a mistake, few mistakes in my life. If you ever charge a battery with this power supply and you put the, the polarity wrong, the, your, all your probes or you doesn't uh, f focus properly, then you blow your power supply. When you put a, a output diode on there, uh, the moment you put the wrong polarity, it shorts out. Then it protects your 
your power supply just for interest sake okay just to recap quickly uh, and finish now what I did uh, I switched it on and then I felt like this heat sink or this little end cap where the 5 volt regulator was was getting very hot so I think the 24 volt input is too much uh, voltage drop for a 5 volt so what I did I put a, a old cell phone charger in the back uh, with a connector block where they have a 2 pin and put a connector block in and then that 5 volt so switch mode supply I supply the fan so that will blow cold yeah okay let's uh, I think I'm finished now I'm gonna put it back um, inside the wall yeah I mounted in the back yeah with a pin side uh, I drill a hole in the wall push it in there and just mount it in the front underneath my uh, table uh, shelf okay I think I'm finished this is the nice power supply let's put it back okay this is I assembled it put it back under the uh, table here um, I just want to show you I put a lamp here and then why there's a lamp voltage you can adjust the, the current so I think that was a success it's a nice bench power supply for uh, your workroom and uh, I hope it will give me some hours of pleasure okay thanks for watching and uh, till next time cheers